Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Let's keep advocating for a better society, we keep saying. So here we are in 2020, and what's to change? Well, we keep at it. Fire on the mountain, run, run, run. <laughs> Now to quote, we thank God it has been a very successful year relative to the composition of this country, both politically and ethnically. The words of Major General Buhari during the Christmas break, really, Mr. President, your villa must be an ace example of an insular complex out of touch with Nigeria's reality. I'd like to inform Buhari of a few things he should put on his to-do list. Let's look at these recent happenings. First. Jigawa plans to build 95 mosques, of which five are for daily prayers and others for Friday sessions and all. Bidding might have begun by now. Second, Nyesom Wike declared Rivers a Christian state twice in the last three months, then arranged prayer sessions during which to propound his outrageous thoughts. Third, Delta Governor Okowa and others, including Udom of Akwaibom, stage elaborate noisy worship sessions with state funds in a multi-faith Nigeria. And these events are televised as achievements of these lazy-minded politicians. Clergymen are eager to see more of these events, and in Lagos, it is always a jamboree. For years, we have been spending public funds sending our people on faith pilgrimage to seek a creator who is right here in Nigeria and everywhere. What is developing are a series of faith-defined enclaves in parallel with Muslim fundamentalist siege created by terrorist organizations, and it is dangerous. Perhaps we are already there, and I am sounding a late warning. Our constitution surely, certainly, does not allow for these acts and proclamations. Wike and his Jigawa counterpart, Mohammed Badaru Abubakar, have overstepped bounds and are playing make-believe heroism they are setting fire to Nigeria. Maybe today now, they don't set fire at it. You know. <laughs> That's why you're asking. Like, is it too late? Yeah. Is it but too late? But too I, want, I want to go to your, uh, both of yours actually, this yeah. whole vision and you mm. know, what unites us. And I feel that I'm sympathetic in a way. I feel sorry for us a bit like Chuka in the sense that you see that the politicians are playing us at our own game. It's almost like a panacea or what is it that they said religion is the opium? It's like opium. they're trying to dope you up. Yes. And, you know, yeah. blind your eyes because they're not doing what they should do. So they said, give, give them religious activity, give them so that they'll get right. so carried away that they wouldn't notice that, you know, you, you wouldn't notice that they're not doing what they should actually do. And then I feel sorry for us that we're so sold on that panacea or whatever it is they're doing because you must be able to see that. I mean, there was a video which I haven't yet watched that shows Wike in his elements, you know, mm. as arrogant as... How many of you came with champion. your traditional mm, your staff, staff of office? Yeah. But meanwhile, mm. you know, no, he's a champion, champion Christianity. for Christianity. Mm. But so clearly it's a cover or a detraction from what is really going on. And, and so we are now being sold. We use religion and religion is dividing us rather than looking for what unites us in the common interest. We're letting tribalism... Like now, if you take, uh, you know, the dreaded word, a moteku uh, vision... We don't even know. We're never going to find out how useful that project is because it's been in politicized. It's been, you know, if you do it, then what's on people? And they're calling it Boko Haram and iPod project. It's all crazy. We're so easily sold mm -hmm. this divisive, you know, uh, okay, thing. Because, because we are so religious, even though less godly. <laughs> and that's this why. This is where we always come back yes, to with that's the why, that's why the pastor, before it was on Sunday you go to church, Saturday you do house chores, Monday to Friday you, you hustle, work. you work. Yeah. But now you have Monday service, you have mm -hmm. midday service, yeah. you have Friday you. <laughs> you have Sunday Bible study. So they always want works. to drag you <laughs> Back to church that, yeah. to dope you into yeah. your way. Mm. Dope you. And so mm -hmm. when the politicians realize that the people are being doped, 
religiously and they are soaking in. Yeah. So let's use that thing that they that you know drives them crazy. Absolutely. To also good with them. Yeah, they use religion to, to polarize us. Um, they use religion to Tribalism blind us. Well. But what I really, really, mm. really detest is that they use state funds or federal <laughs> funds <laughs> to fund religious That's activity. That's what's doping you, so they yeah. would push. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and they people, know that you won't complain. Yeah, but uh, people are not complaining. Mm. So th this is really what baffles me. I, I think we really need to stop as a country and step away from this thing called religion, you know, so that we can open our eyes and be able to see what these politicians are doing to us. Now, we're still here doing Muslim, Christian, this one, that one. We're not focusing on what really matters, which is their performance, their but achievements. You see, pass, pass away, sorry, see. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to say that um, I, somebody defined politics as, um, you know, uh, telling people what you know, people that will tell you what you want mm. to hear to get what they want from you. Now, syndrome. if religion is what you people are hear. craving for, mm. fine, we'll throw religion and tell you we're a Christian state, mm. we're Islamic state, mm. and, that, and, and we'll, you know, do our own bidding. Um, it's not peculiar to Nigeria. We're no, feeding isn't. off international mm. sentiments. In the U.S. today, we have uh, uh, Donald Trump telling you he's a Christian, Christian yes. feeding off the evangelicals, are now taking a center stage in decision making. You know, so it's not peculiar to us. But we need to be very careful, you know, with you know what they're doing to us yes. and realize that that game. Yeah. Uh, it's not in our interest. Yeah. You know, we should ask them the, the, yeah. the that, that was going to go that we need to now What exactly are you going, what's the deliverables interest? for yeah. you? Yeah. yeah, what is in it for yeah. us? You, you see, for me, even in countries where you expect, you know, so much religiosity, I went to Dubai, for example, right at the Look airport. I <laughs> right at the airport, I was busy looking for a mosque or where people were praying the way we do here. I went into the restroom. I was looking for some people who wash their leg, leg the on, the, on the sink. Yeah, wash the wash basin. basin. Yeah. I didn't see any. And I said, look, but this is a Muslim supposed country. to be a Muslim Muslim country. country. Yeah. I sat down in a bus with in a train with somebody wearing hijab. And he didn't tell me, oh, no, you can't sit down with me. You know, that is supposed to be an Islamic country. But nobody, you know, cares about your religion, practices a private thing. You know, and yet that's what they now did with their religion is to ensure that the spirituality of it is used to promote mm -hmm. humanity. Mm -hmm. And that's why every year now, you know, from all over the world, people want to visit, you know, D Dubai. Yeah. Here, our own is, you, you, you have a lot of religion, religious people who are not godly. And they would rather take and give to God rather than use the brain that God has given to them. <laughs> no, uh yeah, I mean, I, again, I, I was thinking that, I was trying to liken it to saying that when you said it's not peculiar to Nigeria, and it's not even peculiar to our age, I think from time immemorial, people, no, no, hypocrisy, no, disagree. And let me land it now, that let what? me land it, you're free to disagree, that, it, it, that this whole abuse of whether, you know, religiosity religion or appearances or being a hypocrite, fake yeah. stuff, is not peculiar to Nigeria, neither is it even peculiar to our <clears> age. You know, because I was thinking of even the biblical reference of the Pharisees. People want an appearance, and you know, they want to give an imp impression of something that they're not, so that they can get the accolades, they can get undeserved accolades, so to speak. So it can happen in any any dimension. You can see it in maybe the titles we give ourselves. You know, the the the, the fronts and not the substance. Mm. So we just need to be a little more shine your eye and say, look, let's not be so let's not be so gullible mm -hmm. and sold everything that looks good and glittery. So oh, you start supplicating behind before oh your excellency. He hasn't delivered. Quickly, you know? I, I know Chuka is running up, mm. but you find out that now it's 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 a big opium. Exactly. And, and that's Which is why where it's different from that's why it's different. And is that's it? why yes, yes, that's why now we you, before our, you say anything, leaders. I can tell you on Christmas, New Year Eve, I couldn't sleep in my house because somebody felt he was doing praise and worship with mm -hmm. a live band. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, you can't do this. He said, you want to allow the devil to use you to stop you from <laughs> yes, praising. No, but it's true. Yes. You know, yes. that's how, how deep we have sunk <laughs> oh into religious God. this thing. That if that, probably that governor didn't come out to declare... Yeah, that look, what is that is but, building but, Let's not put the cat we'll before see. the horse. Why people are immersed in religion? Because okay. there's nothing else working for them. If life was made a little less hard, 
People won't be so uh, obsessed in I a agree. way that is I irrational. Yeah. If you could you know, you access the regular things of life, light, water, right. schools, mm. then you would be using it as an obsession and you, know, you suspend your brain. He, well, I, 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 the fact I, that those I, I, things okay, are well, not there does not mean you suspend well, your brain. Because you have no other help. Okay. You know? Well, no, I you mean, shouldn't. I agree. Um, yeah. I, I, think, I, think, I think we have a, quite a way to go on this matter um, of uh, religion and the state. Very important. Um, though it may not seem like, like it in the midst of the journey, persistence always pays off in the end. Anyway, Uche is motivated to celebrate a payday of sorts for a couple of our governors. Hmm. Uh, she, gives, <laughs> she, gives them, she actually gives them an impressive scorecard and says they've performed excellently. <laughs> yeah, well, Uche will be, the, will be the judge of that. Over to you. <laughs> Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.